back from Korea, some rolls in the dark. It's dark in the morning. Really wasn't able to take you down today. A couple of times I had good position, but you pull guard, some good foot sweeps. This was the closest I got today. Grabbed the leg, but then you defended and got out. And then a lot of sloppy guard passing from me, even though I got to some good positions. And then just working on the side control finishes. We'll be working on trying to get back into shape. Ate a lot during the Korea trip, but had a great time. It's good to be back though. Lots to work on, lots to get better at. This one, you could call it takedown, but you also kind of pull guard there. So for passing, I'm really looking for the over underpass nowadays. I think what was missing from my passing before was a clear number one strategy, but you did a really awesome job shutting down any sort of over underpassing and eventually caught me with a really nice triangle. So obviously for me, there's lots to work on in terms of solidifying position maybe i could have done a little more reactive movement and made sure i had more pressure i got close a couple of times but i think really what it's going to come down to is these kinds of leg pinning positions and then transitioning to the over under from here so a couple of times we got here where i got you kind of in a leg drag but what happened both times was you're able to pull me on top of you and kind of get into a false reap slash heel hook position. And then one thing that really worked today was that inside thumb grip today. I had a really tough time stripping it and the pressure was so good keeping it flat out and always pummeling inside for a better position with your hands that even though this is one of my favorite finishing positions, I almost got to the neck there, but the heel hook was on. Just really nice heel hooks today. I think I did a little better of a job trying to shut down these heel hooks, getting into the 50-50 that I like, but really good awareness and attacking that heel hook. So one thing that I will try to look for in the future is a little more side to side up down movement. Right now I'm quite static even though it's because I'm trying to put pressure onto your legs and trap your legs and get into an over under position. It's not opening up and what I should really try and do is attack on the feet and then collapse down into the over under position so that was what was working for me when today is getting to that over under from weird positions and because once we're already settled here it's really easy for you to attack these triangles is what happened here that arm drag triangle i really like that far side kind of arm drag setup you've hit that a couple of times on me I have to be more aware. And then here, I was just trying to tough it out. I thought I had a good grip of my hand and was able to posture, but a couple of times it was really close. Like right here, I almost tapped, but then just great adjustment.
One thing that is completely gone for me in terms of getting it on you is those long distance takedowns. So before I was able to change levels and get to your hips and your legs, but you're able to read that from so far away. What's going to be happening from now on is I'm going to be trying to get chest to chest as close as I can and getting past your frames is going to be my main prerogative. So I'm going to be switching over to a little more Greco-Roman style chest to chest takedowns because changing levels from far away has stopped working. Another near pass here, kind of a leg drag position, but again, a great counter into that false reap and always dangerous getting into this position. Even though I was close, just that really nice slide through, getting your hips away from me. And it's that seamless ability to transition from side to side and using that inversion slash a little bit of that leg pummeling to get into these positions. And this is why I'm having a tough time using my upright kind of leg on feet passing because if I do that, you get these heel hooks right away. That was just really nice. This is also why I have to avoid changing levels in the wrong way. Really nice cow catcher and awesome sequence. Just making sure you're on getting on top of me and staying on top of me. There was a couple of reversal attempts here, but excellent job getting that underarm control and stopping any sort of progressive wrestling that I had here, always threatening with guillotines, that arm in guillotine or that arm out guillotine was pretty close. And then all I could do was really defend here. I'm really liking the repetitive cow catchers getting me flat on my back and then attacking my back. Awesome sequence, really nice sequence. That cow catcher to a more dominant position is something I like to do a lot. I'll have to really look at some counters. And then just awesome back attack here. Just collapsing my head down and then finding that rear naked. Tough choke to to get on me, usually it doesn't happen, but really awesome work. One thing that was really working for you in this front headlock was the patience. You were really good about controlling my posture and then reacting to what I was doing. And so this was an amazing crucifix position here, almost finished. If I was a little bit skinnier, you probably would have finished. Maybe sh should have just stayed on top there, kind of gotten into a mount position, but that Deep underhook is a great counter to the deep half. Maybe shouldn't have let go of there too easily because from here, this is what I was talking about, about landing in over under this deep over under position, this dog bar position from weird positions because I went from a crucifix to here and then that opened up the pass for me. So. I'm going to be trying to do that a little more, getting into 
that over under position from bottom or maybe even from collapsing on top trying to get that position as you sweep me and then from here just the kimura sequence that i've been working on trying to stay heavy try not to give you any space my side control finishing have got definitely gotten a lot better So this is honestly a good preview of what I'm going to be looking for, punching these underhooks and collapsing your frames. But obviously this really nice sweep was the right way to go. And then you immediately notice that I'm going for some sort of wrestling position and then kind of a wrestling sweep just collapsing onto your hip and then restarting the passing sequence. So had some success with this, threatening the toe hold, then back to the guillotine, then back to the toe hold. We'll start experimenting with that in terms of attacking submissions from the top. Was able to get to some good controlling positions here but we'll continue to explore that. Just amazing passing pressure here, making sure I don't get any over or under hooks and that posture making it difficult for me to enter the legs. Had to do a little bit of a creative half guard sweep into the leg lock, but amazing leg flexibility and dexterity, even though it was pretty close here. Probably should have gotten on my knees and inverted. Really excellent leg lock defense here. Really tricky. Little Barambolo there. Amazing work. And then Looking into this back attack sequence, was able to secure a little Peterson roll. And then from here, just uh, working on that Kisakatami finishes. Amazing little Barambolo there. Just because I was big, I was able to get out. Awesome rounds this week. Good to be back. More progress coming in the future. <laughs> 